Hello students, today we will do the last chapter that is the 15th chapter named Two Fables written by Suniti Namjoshi. Now these two fables they are written by Suniti Joshi and they are a part of her book named Feminist Fables which was published in 1981. We have already learned or read a fable named The Gentleman of the Jungle which teaches us a lesson at the end of the story and it is about human rights. These two fables which we are going to do today are about the need of freedom and space for women and one is about a girl child who wants to be treated as a human being and the other fable is about feminine freedom. So it also makes the point that women can excel. There is an underlying irony in both these fables. The first one is taken from the Panchatantra and the fable begins in the holy city of Banaras there lived a Brahmin who as he walked by the river bank he was watching the crows floating down the stream feeding on the remains of half burnt corpses or the dead bodies and the Brahmin consoled himself saying it is true that he is a poor but he is a Brahmin and it is true that he has no sons but he himself is an indisputably a male. So he says that he shall go to the temple and pray to Lord Vishnu to grant him a son. He went off to the temple and Lord Vishnu listened to his prayers and he granted him a daughter. The Brahmin was disappointed when the child was old enough. He called her to him and delivered himself saying that he is a Brahmin and she was his daughter. He had hoped for a son but then Lord Vishnu maybe absent-mindedly did not listen to his prayers and granted him a daughter. So he says he will teach her what he knows and when they are able they will both meditate and seek guidance from Lord Vishnu. So though only a woman the daughter was a Brahmin so she learned very fast whatever her father taught her and then they both sat down and meditated hard. In a very short time Lord Vishnu appeared and asked what did they want. The Brahmin couldn't stop himself and he blurted out quickly that he wanted a son. Very well said the God next time around and in his next incarnation next birth the Brahmin was born as a woman and she bore eight sons. So in this way the wish of the Brahmin was granted and what do you want? He asked the girl. The girl she replied to Lord Vishnu that she wanted human status means she wanted to be recognized as a human being and that is very hard. The God could not grant her the wish and he appointed a commission. This suggests that women they are not treated equally even today.
now the next fable is entitled as swamvar swamvar means choosing one's own husband so in this story it begins that once upon a time there was a little princess and she was good at whistling don't whistle said her mother don't whistle said her father both the parents they were very anxious because the girl child had a talent of whistling but the child who was good at it went on whistling and years went by and she became a grown up woman now by this time she whistled beautifully and her parents grieved why because they knew that no man will marry a whistling woman but the father wanted to make the best of it and he made a declaration that he will offer half of his kingdom and the princess in marriage to any person who will beat her in whistling so he held a competition in which he declared that any person who would beat his daughter in whistling he would readily give away half of his kingdom and the princess in marriage the king's offer was duly proclaimed and soon the palace was jammed filled with suitors with all those bachelors who were good at whistling and it was a very noisy affair because people who came from far off places to seek the princess hand they were there gathered and whistling most were terrible and a few were good at whistling but the princess was better and beat them easily so we see that there was not a single fellow who would beat the princess and the king was displeased because he knew that now he would not find a proper suitor for his daughter and then the princess said never mind father now let me set a test and perhaps some good will come of it so the princess she had an idea in her mind and then she turned to the suitors saying that do you acknowledge that you were all beaten fairly the suitors they responded no and they were not ready to accept their defeat they all wrote together that no they were not beaten fairly by the princess except one who said that it was a magic or some sort of trick and he he readily agreed that yes yes he was beaten fairly by the princess the princess smiled and turned to her father saying that this is the man she will marry if he will have her so this story suggests that there was one single fellow who accepted his defeat or if we can say in other words that he recognized the talent of the princess apart from being the thing that she was a woman he accepted his defeat at the hands of the woman saying that he wanted to show that women also have a freedom or a right to equality so these two fables which are 
given in our textbook they suggest they give a lesson that there should be gender equality